Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench and today we're going to go over a new glitch text technique. I was working on a project and I saw this cool thing by Nick Hill and uh, it's about this red giant thing and it has this like cool text animation effect right here. So this is my take based off what he did. He made a whole bunch of cool stuff in cinema and used that as mats and stuff for his text. So I was lazy and I made like one and uh, used it a bunch of times. Looks kind of like this. Pretty simple. A couple of MoGraph things. Nothing to write home about. One cool thing is that I left all these in so that you can use this as a Luma mat instead of a, just a straight up alpha track mat. So you get like breaks and stuff on the letters. We're gonna do this cooking show style. I'll save you guys my Julia Child impression, but I'll show you the idea behind it. Let's say this is our first layer. I want a couple of letters to pop in and say I don't want that to happen to the A. So I'm gonna do the whole first word. So I'm gonna throw a mask over top of this right here. And then I'm gonna take that, duplicate it. So that it stays together as a group. Maybe offset this a little bit in time, move down, hit M, open up that mask, get rid of that one because that's not what I'm using anymore. And maybe I'll take my move tool, move this down, go back in time a little bit, see where what that's looking like. And I know there's some cool stuff at the front over here, so maybe I'll just grab that, move it over there. And then you can even do like shrink this down this way. So that does that. So that's kind of cool. I want to get rid of this P. Um, maybe I'll keep this A and say I duplicate this. Get rid of that mask again, turn that on, hit V, move this over. I kind of like the way this looks. So what I'm gonna do is go like this with it, move this over. I know that P is right around there. So now it kind of does like that, builds in, but I'm gonna cut this before it builds all the way. You kind of get the idea. So this is what it looks like once we've done a bunch of different things and I did different things this time, so it looks different. But you can see the basic elements are all the same. And then you take it and throw it on a background that's kind of glitchy like that too, and it fits in there. Maybe you could give this a little glow or whatever. I didn't do that here. But then you can also throw on something else like AE Pixel Sorter. And that's pretty neat. And then you could maybe combine it with some more text. Something like that. This basically rotates and blurs in a direction. It's a little text thing. And look, here it is again. That's basically it squashed down to almost nothing and then some other masks animated on top with some hold keyframes. Which as I said before in the other glitch text tutorial, those are your friends. This also works for background stuff and everything. So that's another cool way to get a glitch text effect. If any of you guys know anybody at Apple, uh, make sure they ship me my watch soon. I'm kind of desperate. All right. I am Joe from Workbench. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And make sure you follow us on workbench.tv for more great tutorials. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.